Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be fun. This is going to be a short video showing you several blonde shades, all from the brand Beltress. I really enjoy Beltress wigs, and I think they make some beautiful blondes. So I want to show you some of those. I also have shown you, you know, I've had previous videos like this where I've shown red wigs and different color wigs. So I thought, hey, I don't think I've done one where we just looked at the Beltress blondes. So let's do that today. Now, this is not a wig review. First of all, all these wigs are from wigstudio1.com. I've already reviewed all these wigs. I'm not going to go over that today. We're not going to go through every detail of every wig because I've already done all that. I just want to really kind of show you the colors of these. However, if you want to know more about each one of these wigs, if you want to see them in outdoor lighting, cap construction, styling, all the things I do in my normal videos, there will be links to each one of the videos I've already done on all these wigs in the drop down box below this video. So just expand this drop down box below the video and you will have links there to everything you need uh, if you want to see details of all these wigs. Okay, let's get started. So what I have got on is Beltress Tarani. I love Tarani. I have it in several colors. This color is Honey with Chai Latte. So I want you to see this color. Now I'm going to tell you what the manufacturer says about this color. Then we'll talk about it a little bit of what do I see with my eye and what you might see. So Beltress describes Honey with Chai Latte, medium brown root. Yes, it has a medium brown root. And then it's blended with different shades of blonde, light blonde, pure blonde, all these different shades of blonde. I definitely see that in this wig. Again, now this is highlighted around the face. That's a game changer for a lot of people. Many people do not like that. I totally understand it. I happen to like it, but I respect your opinion if you do not. We all have a different opinion, and isn't that what we love about wigs? That we don't have to like the same thing. There are so many choices now in wigs. We can all find something that we like that fits our personality, so I always embrace your comments and your opinions just like I know you respect my opinion. I like the highlighting around the face. Like I said, many people do not. They feel like that's a harsh band. I totally get it, but uh, this one does have that, so I want to show that to you. Really like, I like this wig because I personally like little flippy ends. I like a lot of movement. I like that it's sleek. There's just a lot that I really like about Tarani. And this color is wearable. Again, it has these different shades of blonde. There's a little honey blonde running through here too. As you can see, of course, honey with chai latte, it would be. And the different shades of blonde, really, really beautiful. Beltress, I believe knows how to blend these colors so well. They take so many different colors, blend them together beautifully to create this, these shades. And I think Honey with Chai Latte is one of those. Now, again, this darker root. Now, in these lights in the studio, I feel like the roots come across darker, especially on the blonde shades. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about that. With studio lighting, the blonde shades are washed out a little bit, in my opinion, appear much brighter than they do in outdoor lighting. That is why I am a firm believer in when you are watching a regular wig review, not like this, that where we're just <laughs> touching on these different wigs, but if it is a video that is dedicated solely to that wig, be sure whatever wig reviewer you like is showing you that color in different lighting. I like to show it to you in the studio lights, in shade, and in sunshine. That way you get a really a good feel of what this color is going to look like. It is not always a good representation of the blonde shades in studio lighting. That is my personal opinion and what I have found over the years. Uh, these lights really brighten these wigs, wash them out a little bit in my opinion. So I think you really need to see them in different lighting to get a good feel for the blondes. Again, just my opinion. But Tarani is just such a nice, low density, beautiful wig. Again, I feel like the rooting looks dark 
under these lights however I don't feel like it's that dark in outdoor lighting and again the link to my video will be below this video in the drop down box and you can see it in different lighting there okay so that is Tarani in Honey with Chai Latte now if you <laughs> have seen me talking about this wig grip lately I have fallen in love with this wig grip um, I will link it also in the drop down box below this video it is exclusive to wig studio one I uh, cannot wear wig grips with velcro they slip right off of my head I have to have the wig grip that has the elastic bag and this one is perfect they also make one that has a lace front and a lace uh, insert so I will but this is the one I personally prefer I just like this plain one and I will link it below I also have a video that shows exactly how I apply my wig grip and my wig cap if you're interested in that I'll link it as well I get so so many questions about that so I have a video just dedicated to that so that was Tarani let me show you the inside just while we're here so you can just see that it is a lace front and a mono part on that again we're not going through all these weeks and all the detail because I've already done all that and I don't want to keep you here all day looking at things that you can just look in the video below real quickly and see okay so next up this is uh, Bellissima and champagne with apple pie all right another low density style from Beltress another lace front and mono part this is a very low density style like I talked about with the other one straight now I have not steamed this one and it needs steaming off my face you can see this will fall in your face not a fan <laughs> not something I enjoy for sure so uh, I have this wig in several other colors and I have steamed it on some of my other styles this one I have not but I wanted to show you that if that is something that concerns you you will need to steam this wig or you can do my little trick that I've done a million times and shown you just use some hairspray this is the control hairspray by hair you wear I love this hairspray and for a quick fix I will spray the front just like that hold it a second and I can get that up and off my face for the day it also will uh, control some flyaways as you know these wigs a lot of times have a lot of flyaways and uh, that will take care of that temporarily that is not a permanent fix okay so let's talk about this color champagne with apple pie another popular popular blonde now they say this is a light brown root it is indeed again I want to show you that it then has all these shades of ash blonde pure blonde light natural blonde that is how Beltress describes this there's a lot of ash in this wig I like that I like ashy colors in wigs they work with my skin tone well I like that and you can really see the highlighting here Look how beautifully blended that is. Again, they do such a good job blending these colors. Heat friendly fibers, of course. So you could put some heat on this, watch your heating tools, be careful with your styling tools, but you could uh, add some curl to this if you'd like. Uh, you could use a hot air brush and just bump it under more, whatever you would like. But this is a nice low density bob comes right under the chin so it's a nice length works on a lot of face shapes and this is a really pretty color champagne with apple pie okay let's see what's up next uh, one of my favorite wigs is up next I really like this wig you've seen me talk about it so many times Bonavita root beer float blonde uh, root beer float blonde one of my favorite colors it is such a beautiful beautiful color in my opinion this is one of the most wearable colors um, I think lots of different coloring can wear this wig it looks good almost every on almost everyone again lace front mono part like most Beltress there but I just if you haven't tried a Beltress blonde and you want to try one that you feel like um, 
It's a very wearable, neutral shade. Have a look at Root Beer Float Blonde. And Bonavita again. I have not steam Bonavita. As you notice, and I'm being really honest with you because I like to be that way, some of these will fall in your face. They are going to require some, if that's something you don't like, and like you know, I've said a million times, I'm not a fan of things falling in my face. However, it's not that big a deal for me because I know I can easily fix it. I can steam it, or I can use that little hairspray trick again and get it off my face. Now, again, this is highlighted around the front. Might be something you like, might be something you don't like, but it is there. It's very heavily highlighted around the front of this wig. But this color, okay, now, Beltres describes this blended shade with light pearl blonde, ash blonde, beige blonde, champagne blonde, and it also has platinum. And I think the platinum in this is so pretty. It's very dynamic. It just kind of brightens this whole thing up, in my opinion. Again, I think this is a very neutral color due to the ash. I think this is a very wearable color. Um, look at the blending of the blondes in this. It is truly, truly a neutral color. And I just think that Bonavita is a nice, again, a wearable, a nice manageable length for a lot of people with this longer layered front. You could pull this all the way off your face. This is low density, so it's easily tucked behind the ears. Lots you can do with this wig, for sure. Just really nice. Beltress just knows how to do these wigs. That's why they're so, so popular with so many people. Again, I, I like, um, I love the color, but I also really like this style. So this is a win-win for me. Again, I'm going to steam this wig, but I have not done it. And I just don't, I want to kind of wait until I do that because I want to show it to you. I want you to see how it looks out of the box. I want you to see that this can fall on your face. But I also want you to know that it is not a deal breaker for me. It might be for you and that's perfectly fine. That's not a deal breaker for me because I know I can easily steam this and not have any problem with it at all. However, when I steam it, keep in mind, it has that like, that very highlighted band around the front and if that's something you don't like, if you steam it, you're definitely gonna be able to see that. Okay, let's look at a few more. Okay, let's look at Amaretto and Tres Leches Blonde. Now, this is a very, very bright blonde, very blonde color. I just did a um, little short review of this on my Instagram, and I think it just posted today. So, um, if you want to see that, go over and follow me on Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, please do. I have some sort of wig content every day on Instagram, completely different than what we have here. It's so much fun over there, so be sure to follow me over there. Okay, let's look at Amaretto and Tres Leches Blonde. Low density, very, very low density here, but longer, right? You have a little longer style. Showing you the highlighting around the face. Beautiful highlighting. Now, Beltress says this is evenly blended, honey blonde, hints of golden blonde, ash blonde, and medium golden brown root. I think that is a perfect description of this. A little bit of honey blonde here. A little bit, you know, it's a little of everything. A little honey, a little golden, a lot of ash. That's how I feel like this is. It's very blonde. I feel like it's very bright. Um, again, this, this lighting is probably not the best to show you this color. A uh, very popular color, Tres Leches Blonde. But again, you can see my video from the drop down box. Amaretto is one of their top sellers. It's just, you know, if you're into the beachy wave, this is classic for that. Um, I did not like them at first. You know that? You know, I was hesitant to try them, but that's been my wig journey. Started off with short blonde pixies. <laughs> 
Then I got a little longer. Then I started wearing some reds. I am now wearing some brunettes. You will start seeing some brunettes from me coming. And I want to show you everything. And I made you that promise. It's been a year ago or more now that I promised you I'm going to show you everything. And I believe I'm keeping that promise. I am trying to show you every style, every shape, and every color. And please note, I do not think all these wigs look good on me. So please, no messages about that. I totally, <laughs> I totally know all these wigs don't look good on me. I've never claimed they do, and I never claim they will. Because let me tell you, this channel, as I've told you before, is about you. This channel is all about you. What you're looking for, what you might like to see, what you want to see in detail, what color you might like, not about me. I want to show you what is out there, what's available and tell you how much wigs can change everything. They change how, as you know, I don't wear the same color or style any day in a row. I rotate through all of my wigs and I want to do it, I do it that way on purpose. I want to tell people about wigs. I want them to know wigs will change everything. If you just need a pick me up, I put on a fun wig and I feel great and I head out the door. You know, they just do. They change things. They make my life more fun. That I'm just talking about my personal experience. I'm not trying to say anything about anyone else. I'm just trying to tell you about my wig journey. And I have extra confidence. I feel like I have a smile on my face. My hair looks good. Whether anyone else thinks it looks good or not, I could care less. <laughs> Please don't let anyone tell you what to wear. Please wear what makes you feel beautiful. That's what this is all about. What makes you feel beautiful? What makes you feel good? What puts a smile on your face? Put that on and wear it out that door. It might be blonde for me one day. It might be short red the next, spiky the next. That's how I like it. And when someone asks me or says, I like your hair, I'm say, thanks, it's a wig. And we are off and running on some good wig conversation. So wherever you are in your wig journey, I would just encourage you to embrace it. Just embrace it. And it doesn't have to be full on wear something different every day, but ease into it and however you're comfortable, that's what you do. If you're only comfortable wearing one style in one color, wear one style in one color. What it, whatever it is that makes you happy, that's what you should do with this wig journey. So that's Amaretto and beautiful Tres Leches Blonde. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you another Trani because I told you I like Trani. <laughs> I really do. Now, I'm going to show it to you today in another color, which is Bombshell Blonde. Wow. Well, now this is a blonde here. If you've not seen Bombshell Blonde, this is a true blonde. Golden Brown Root blended with white, pure blonde, and satin blonde. So it is very, very blonde. That's not your thing. This is not your wig because this is has a lot of white in it. And it has, like we said, some satin blonde running through here, which I think that's what I like about this. I like the satin blonde because I think it keeps it from being, it gives it a little dimension in my opinion. It's not just pure white, although it has pure white in it, and you can see that again, very heavily highlighted around the face. Very low density, but Trani is just such a nice wearable style, in my opinion. But like I said, very, very blonde. But I like the satin, and you really can see it where it comes down here, and you can start seeing the satin. And I, like I said, I think that's what gives this particular color the dimension and not just make it so stark. You have a little contrast there. Okay, I have a couple more. And y'all, you know, I put my wigs back in my boxes. I take super good care of my hair. I put them back in the boxes they come in and I store them away and they are ready for the next time. Now, I want to show you this one. I like this style, Miss Macchiato. I have it also in several colors. Today I want to show you show it to you in coconut silver blonde. 
which is a pure cool ash coconut blonde and platinum blonde there's a lot of platinum in this another really pretty color miss macchiato another wearable sh uh, shape look at the shape of this most people can wear this face this uh most face shapes can wear this it uh isn't comes really nicely under the chin so it doesn't cut you off up here you get the little bit of length here which makes this really pretty now i'm going to give you a word of warning a caution here when you start wearing these really blonde and gray and um light wigs like this if you have a light colored wig cap I would wear that if I had one with these colors. You can, at times, see the wefting. Uh, that's just the way it is on some of these. Look how beautiful this is done around the face. Wow. I mean, gorgeous. Absolutely perfect. But, like I said, be careful with these super light colors uh, with your whatever you're wearing underneath it. I love the movement of this wig, low density, these little flips, it flips under, it flips out. I'm all about that. I feel like it's a natural look. You know, a dead giveaway to me of a wig is one that is too fixed. I've told you that so many times. I'm not into that at all. Personally, I like my hair messy. I get my hands in my wigs. I pull them away from the cap. That gives the movement. You don't want, if those fibers are stuck down to that cap, it's not gonna move. Get your hands in there. Do not be afraid to do that. Pull the fibers away from the cap and get some movement in these wigs. But look at the, uh, I want you to look here. You can see this platinum. You can see the ash and you also see that coconut blonde running through here. Again, they know how to blend these colors. This is not a flat color. This is not a one color. This is a dimensional color with these different shades. I love seeing this run through here. Just really, really well done. Coconut Silver Blonde. Good job, Beltress. And Miss Macchiato, wow. I always have my eye on that clearance section <laughs> at WeekStudio1.com. If they have one of these in a color I can wear, I grab it. It's that good. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to show you Califia and Roca Margarita Blonde. Now, Roca Margarita Blonde, another really popular color for Beltress. It is blended with ash, silver, coconut blondes. And it has this light brown root. The rooting on this wig is beautiful. It is not stark. It is not overdone. Roca Margarita Blonde. Very, very popular color for Beltress. I like it if you are wanting to transition to gray. Here you go. Uh, Califia, a lot going on here, right? This might be a little overkill for a lot of people with all these beachy waves. It's a lot of beachy waves. Yes, I get that. I understand. I just want to show it to you. See it around the face. Again, silver, ash, and coconut blondes with this soft. Look how beautiful the rooting is here. Totally believable. Not overdone at all. Lots of movement. You can, this has enough length. You can wear this back in a clip easily, easily. You can dress this up, put a really pretty sparkly clip in this. I can see that on this really pretty, put something pretty in this and wear this to a more formal event. Put a headband on it, put a hat on with it. There's just all kinds of stuff you can do with wigs that are this length. So this is Califia in Roca Margarita Blonde. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that short look at a few of the blondes from Beltress. This was fun. Um, stay tuned. I'll have a lot more of these videos coming. Please subscribe to my channel. And again, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. Have a great day. See you next time.